Howdy, friend. Morning. Bible. You better hurry along now. You're gonna be late for church. Thank you. Got it. Told you we would. Have any trouble? <laughs> He's just busting you out of jail. Yeah, what happened to his leg? I don't know, Floyd. He was all right when we picked him up. Yeah, well, it's lame now. Well, maybe we'll leave him here. Yeah. They will put that pack on your back. Stay with it, partner. You line yourself a mess of sugar. Come on, let's ride. Expect you boys this fast. You must have rid with furs under your blankets. Well, I hope you got some fresh horses. Ours are finished. A few hours of daylight left. We'll have to be saddled up and out of here as soon as we can. Hey, say, that was some excitement you folks had over in Stockton. Them striders busting their brother Floyd out of jail in broad daylight. About those horses. Too bad about the sheriff and the deputy, though. Well, now, mister, we sure would like to draw with you, but we gotta get moving. Moving? Yeah. Oh, you got plenty of time. You're supposed to wait right here. I got this telegraph just a few minutes ago from the sheriff in Stockton. Do you know who's coming to lead your posse? Seth Campbell, that's who. Seth Campbell? Yeah, I bet you never thought you'd see the day he'd be riding with him now, did you? I saw him in Carson City, oh, over 20 years ago. Him just a-walking down the street kept those tin horns in a straight and narrow. Well, what do I tell my boy? He reads about Seth Campbell in them dime novels. Well, I remember him when I was old, about that high. 
Heath, we're in luck. I think we wait another hour or two, it'll be dark. We'll be stuck here till morning. We've been ordered to wait. Just a couple of minutes ago, you were ready to saddle up and ride out. Well, now, that was before I heard that Seth Campbell was joining us. Now, we may lose a day, but he'll make up for it and then some. We may lose a lot more. <laughs> I'm Seth Campbell. Uh, yes, Marshal. I I I'm Link Haynes, station manager. I just want to say, well, I'm awful proud. Pleasure, Mr. Haynes. This is my son, Seth Jr. He came along to learn the trade. Oh, that's mighty fine. Howdy. I'll take your horses. Uh, these men here, they they're your posse. Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. Evening, sir. This is my son, Seth Jr. Howdy. Howdy. Hi, sir. Hi. No, it's been a long time since I led a posse. Pencil pushers in Washington had me transporting federal prisoners lately. As a matter of fact, I was on my way by train to pick up Floyd Strider when his brothers beat me to it. Mighty nice to have you with us, Marshal. Well, it's a pleasure to be... Say, don't I know you? Nick Barkley. Not Victoria Barkley's boy. That's right, sir. Well, it's been a long time since I saw you on the ranch years ago. You weren't more than yay high. How's your mother? Fine, sir, fine. Fine's the word. Victoria Barkley's a fine woman. Let me introduce you to a posse. Uh, this is Jack Wilson. Mr. Wilson. Uh, Marshal. Mike Owens. Go on. My pleasure. Jess Curry. Curry. Hello, Marshal. And back here is my brother Heath. Well, it's always a pleasure to meet a Barkley. Well, let's get down to business, gentlemen. If you'll raise your right hands, I'll swear you in as deputies. Stand up, please, Mr. Barkley. Raise your right hand. Do you all solemnly swear to defend the Constitution of the United States and California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, to the best of your ability to help you, God? I do. I will. Well, now the way I see it, the Striders will head for Nevada over the Sierras. That's the way we figured it. Now, from the look of their tracks, they've got an extra animal with them, probably a pack horse. They've also got a lame horse, so they'll be looking for a fresh one. Well, now, they wouldn't dare show themselves in town, so they'll probably steal one from one of the outlying ranches. Exactly. That's why I wired to every ranch within a day's ride of here to be on the lookout for them. Now, that lame horse is going to slow them down, so if we don't give them any rest, we can make up valuable ground. Marshal, you figured on night tracking them? Yes, I do. As soon as those horses get up here. Quarter moon's all we got. Just right for an ambush. Well, I reckon a quarter moon is all I'll need, but thank you for the advice, Mr. Barkley. I'll be on the lookout for an ambush. Striders will be moving at night, and so will we. Uh, here's your horse, Marshal. No paint horse for me, Mr. Haynes. He's a mighty fine animal, Marshal. Well, I'm sure it is, but take it back and give me another animal, will you please? Marshal, I'll be glad to change with you. Uh, no, thank you, Mr. Curry. I don't want to paint horse along at all. Never had but bad luck with them. You know, there's two things to remember about this job, gentlemen. It's skill and luck. Never underestimate either one of them. <laughs> Like that lame horse of theirs is getting worse. Ah, that's good reading them, boy. Just mount, man. Rest the horse for a minute. Death. Here. Loosen your cinches. Let them breathe. Don't water them. They get the collar. Fill your canteens if you want. Well, I've been making pretty good time. No ambush yet. Well, you called it, Marshal. No paint horse. Maybe we've been lucky so far. <laughs> 
I know it sounds crazy, but that's the way I feel. Say, I don't remember seeing you at the Barkley Ranch when I was there years ago. I wasn't there as a boy. Oh? I grew up in Strawberry. Oh. But you know, I feel that I've met you someplace before. Is that possible? Five years ago, I rode with you up in Placer County. Why, sure. Sure. Yeah, that was Johnny Rote and his gang. <laughs> we nailed him pretty good, didn't we? Well, we did, didn't we? That's right, Marshal. You sure did. No, no, we did. We're going to do it again, son, if we all stick together. Right? Maybe. You know, it's a funny thing. People all over this country have put their faith in me from time to time, and the way I read it, you've got no faith in me at all. None at all. Hey, so you've ridden with Seth Campbell before, huh? Yeah. Just how come you never mentioned it? I was working on a farm up in Placer County about five years ago. Campbell comes riding in with a posse after the road game. I guess I couldn't wait to be the first in line to join up, ride with the great Seth Campbell. So? All right, let's ride. I guess we better be going. I uh, loosened your cinch. No good pack horse is slowing us down. He's right, Floyd. The horse is high. All right, quit your beefing. Stop here and rest him a while. Lord, we're not getting anywhere this way. Why don't we just lose that old plug permanently? Now listen, that horse is carrying something worth slowing down for. You better see nothing happen to him either. It'll be your hide. It'll be my hide? Oh, at least you forget. Me and Luke, we quit the army just to come out here and, and break you out of jail. Now, you'd join at me just like that buck sergeant did. You know, we'd have been better off to stay there on the post. We ate regular and we got paid and we didn't have to run well, around. Why don't you go right on back there, well, then? Lord, <laughs> well, you know I can't do that. If, I, if they're sticking a knife in that sergeant, if I ever got near that post... They'd... All right! And I don't want to hear no more about how good you have it in the army. The only reason he joined up anyway, because the law in three states was out looking for you. Well, anyway, what about that horse's leg? What are we going to do? Well, we're going to try for the nearest ranch, and we're going to get ourselves some new animals. If that leg gives out first, well, <laughs> we think of something else. Now, come on, let's get moving. about another one, Marshal? Mm, don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah, boy. Just don't tell the temperance ladies on you, Daddy. Uh, I won't if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, then get back to the story and finish her up. There we were. <laughs> Old Bull Kimball and me staring down each other's gun barrels. No more than five foot apart. And the place was crowded with folks. I said, Bull, put down your iron or I'm going to have to burn you down. Knowing full well I'd never shoot in that crowd. Well, old Bull, he'd killed a couple of men in his time, but he wasn't pure mean. He said, Constable, tell you what, let you and me arm wrestle. <laughs> you put my knuckles down on the wood, I'll go peaceable. But you lose. You give me two hours to get out of town. Well... I wasn't much older than young Seth Jr. here. Weighed about 15 pounds less, but I was a cocky young buck in them days. Well, what happened, Marshal? Well, Bull got his two hours, but I had him in custody in three. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, I practiced my arm wrestling after that. You know, it's a great sport. 
Hey, gentlemen. What about it? Any takers? No, thank you. Oh, gentlemen, come on now. Mr. Curry, huh? All right. I'll have a go at it. All right, sir. Keith, how about you moving? There we go. Yeah. All right. On three, huh? One. Two. Three. Hi. <laughs> well done, sir. I thought you had me there at the beginning. <laughs> oh, it was a pleasure, Marshal, believe me. A pleasure. <laughs> well, who's next? Nick Barkley, how about you? No, 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 no. Uh, I think I better pass this time, Marshal. Uh, Heath Barkley. Come on, boy, roll up your sleeve. Let's go. You don't mind, Marshal, I think I'll pass, too. Oh, Pa, it's uh, getting late. You had a hard ride. Why don't we turn in? Well, I said I brought you along on this posse, but not as my nursemaid. Come on, boy, let's go. No, thanks, Marshal. Oh, can't let's get away with that. You got a stout right arm there. Let's get at it. Oh, come on, Heath. It's no shame to get beaten by Seth Campbell. Kind of an honor, I'd say. Heath, he don't fight nobody under 80. How's about if we break the Marshal's right arm, Heath? Both arms? Oh, no, no, no. Let up on him, man. Let up on him. Heath may have good reasons for not wanting to indulge in a little arm wrestling. Personal reasons, maybe. Care to let us in on him? Or are they two person? All right, Marshal. Good, 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 good. Go on three. On. Three. Watch your men to get some sleep. Seth, you stand guard. We'll be riding in two hours. The Marshal's a mighty proud man. He ain't used to losing. You had to take him down a notch, didn't you? I hope you're satisfied. Stay down. It's a trap. How we're gonna rush him? Stay down. Oh. Take it easy, Pa. This is me. Well, let me have that. Let me have the gun. Oh boy. Boy, are you all right? Now take it easy, Pa. Here. Yeah. Get back. You need a little sleep, that's all. I'm fine. Uh-huh. I'm fine. Okay, let's go. Come on. I'm fine. We heard something out here. What's going on? 
It's all right. It's, uh, it's okay. Pa uh, had a touch of pneumonia here a few weeks back. He was pretty sick. And those drinks he had tonight, they didn't help him much. But he'll be all right. He'll be just fine when he gets a little sleep. Huh, Pa? Uh, one of us is going to take over the watch. I'll do it. All right, Owens. Oh, you know, maybe you shouldn't have come on this posse. But the doc said you needed more rest. Son, I had to come on this posse. I don't know how many more posses I got left. I wanted you to come with me to give you the feel of things while I still had the chance. I know that, but you got to take care of there your health. There are only two things in this world that mean anything to me, boy. You and the way I do my job. Now, that's all I've got to leave you. What I know about being a lawman. Look, you've given me enough already, Pa. I just hope I can do as good as you. You're going to be better than me. I know that. But I've got to teach you while I still got the chance. Do you understand that, son? Sure, Pa, I understand. Turned out to be quite a trip, isn't it? Yep. Well, I don't know. I guess maybe I'm better off here than I would be in town. I'll let Jack Purdy talk me into Squire and his cousin to the social tonight. <laughs> What's she look like? Oh, no, never saw her. I do know one thing. She looks anything like the rest of them purdies. I'm better off on this posse. Marshal Campbell. Could be his kid's right, you know. Old man. Long, hard ride. Just over a bout with pneumonia. Too much to drink. He'll be fit as ever by morning after a good night's sleep. Could be. You don't think so, huh? I don't think so. Heath, what is wrong with you? You've been dropping hints all along and running away from them. That posse in Placerville. I never was really quite sure in my own mind what happened there. So I never said anything. You were after the road gang. Like the marshal said, we nailed them, all right. But what he didn't say was we lost three good men doing it. Oh, that happens, Heath. It happens. Nick, I don't think those three men had to die. So you're blaming Campbell? I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just trying to think it through, see it as it was. There was the Roach ready to surrender. There was Campbell yelling, take them, get them, take them. They're ready for the taking. It was like he wanted to fight. It was like he was out of his mind. Now, you could be dead wrong about that, Heath. I could be. You know, the road gang is a pretty tricky bunch. You don't hold up a dozen banks and get away clean, you know. Could be the old man thought they were uh, setting a trap for him. Or maybe he knew something you didn't know. Maybe. Maybe if I tried stopping him, those three men wouldn't be dead. Get some sleep. All right, boys, drink up. Let's get going. Today's the day we bring in the Striders. Feeling better this morning, Marshal? All right, let's get going. Boy, that trail gets cold. Oh, Wilson, I take a look at your horse. You better check his left rear shoe. Seems loose to me. Oh, and put that fire out. Well, he uh, looks to be in pretty good control of things. It looks to be. Floyd, this animal's all give out. Yeah, uh, looks like we're gonna have to get rid of him. What are you gonna do about that pack? Uh, you're gonna ride up ahead to one of them ranches and come back with another horse. Two if you can. Now get moving. All right, fine. See. You. All right, come on. Help me get that pack onto my horse. Uh, 
Gotta be nice and careful now. We're gonna need this baby. coming up from behind us. I've seen them from the top of the ridge. I don't know how many of them there are. They're too far away. Yeah. That'll be the posse coming out of Stockton. But we better get out of here. Turn that animal loose, Luke. Let me up behind you, Jeep. All The trail's heating up. What do you make of these tracks, huh? Well, there's, uh, there's only three horses now, Pa. You telling me they split up? No. No, I'd say that huh? they uh, got rid of that lame pack animal of theirs. They probably shifted whatever it was carrying onto one of the others. That's two men are riding up now. Let's ride as rain. You got to track this guy, Seth. <laughs> now, men, we'll be tangling with them soon. Now, some of you that haven't ridden past, you're probably a little nervous right about now. But don't be, because once you get into it, it'll pass, believe me. The important thing is to do what I tell you. Remember, I've been at this for 33 years. Now, just have faith in me and, and do like I tell you. All right, let's ride. Looks like the end of the trail is a ghost town. You sure put them in our laps, Marshal. You're gonna be mighty surprised. I don't know about that. I don't like those three horses out there, just like nobody had a care in the world. We'll dismount. We'll go up on foot. It's a Gatling gun. Wilson! Curry, I want you to take up your positions on the other side of the wall over there when I give you the word, and then when we start firing, jump the wall and rush them. Seth and I will follow you. And the Barclays will cover us and then come up and help us finish them off. All right, go. Get ready. Marshal, sure there's no cover out there. They'll be cut out. We're not going to let them get away. We're going to rush them now. Well, they're not going to get away. Their horses are back there. At least wait till dark. I gave those men a lawful order, and by heaven, they're going to carry it out. We're going to rush them. Now, get ready. Marshal, we'll get those men, but rushing a Gatling gun in broad daylight is suicide. You've been given a lawful order. Now, carry it out. Yeah. 
Yes, you can't yes, move out of there. kept going. Marshal, you saw what happened. Maybe he's right, Pa. Don't you turn coward on me, boy. I take care of my men. That gun's already killed two of them, Marshal. Seth, you and me are going to rush them. Let's go. Hold it, Marshal. You know what you're doing, don't you? You're interfering with a federal officer in performance of his duty. Nick, try and talk some sense into him. I'm afraid I can't do that, Marshal. He's right. I've got to go along with him. Suit yourself. You shoot me, it'll be in the back, boy. This is still my posse and my boy and I are going in there. Come on, son. Pa? Pa. I didn't want to have to do that. Now, listen, boy. Two men are dead because of that gun. We keep rushing it head on. We're all going to be dead. We're going to need some help. Jess, get down the other end of this wall. Give him something to worry about. Sorry. Seth. Seth, let's get down to Swanson's ranch. It's about 10 miles down the road. Let's go in Swanson to give us some help. What about my pa? Oh, wait a minute. Nobody's going anywhere. This is still my posse. Oh, you take it easy. I'm going for help. Nobody's going anywhere. This Stay is... Stay here. I'm going. No, you're not. Son, give me a son. Carry it. Back. It's not your posse anymore, Marshal. Boy. Boy. Look here. Yeah. Looks like they're going for help. Yeah, we better clean out what's left of them fast. Now, when I start firing, you bust out, see if you can flank them. Now move, I'll cover you. All right. You want, you want me out of here? All right. I'll ride out of here. It's your posse now. And may God help you both.
Mr. Hurst. Oh. We got things to do. Better get these bodies back into town. Round up the horses, gather the men. Where's Seth Jr.? He was sent back for help. Help? Oh, yes. I remember. Let's get busy. Come on, give me a hand. Son is dead, Marshal. Just turned eighteen. Wanted to be a lawman. Was so happy being with me. Give me a hand, will you? Striders are dead. Wilson, Owens, and my son. I'll tell you what happened as soon as you get this man to a doctor. He's hurt badly. Now I'll tell you what happened. This man, Heath Barkley, aided and abetted by his brother here, disobeyed my orders, attacked me physically, and took over the posse. Heath Barkley? Nick? Yes, and I'm preferring charges against both of them for preventing me from doing my duty. Marshal, you know what happened up there. Furthermore, my son's death was due directly to their act. I want you to arrest these men, Sheriff. Charge is murder. to call on you, Victoria, but somehow, after all this... Seth, I wanted you to know how badly I feel, how badly my whole family feels about your son. He was a good boy. He always tried to do the right thing. That's the way he died. I knew you'd understand, Victoria, because you've always been an understanding woman. I remember your kindness to me the first time we met. Do you remember where that was? Emily Fletcher's party. Yeah. I was a big, clumsy youngster. So shy, I didn't dare look at a girl. And then you came over and you put me at my ease. Before the evening was over, you taught me how to dance. You came here to talk about your sons, didn't you? Seth, I want you to drop these charges against my boys. I can't do that. But you've got them up for murder. They're not murderers. What they did amounted to murder. They did what they thought was their duty. Their duty? Interfering with the proper authority, attacking an officer trying to do his job. Was that their duty? At the time they took over, were you really the proper authority? Well, at the time they took over, I had a commission as a federal officer. I had warrants for the Strider brothers' arrest in my pocket. And I had duties that I was sworn to carry out. Yes, I'd say I was the proper authority. He says... I know what he says. But I'm interested in what you say, because I respect you, Victoria. Now, after seeing me and hearing me, would you say that I look or sound like an insane man? Aren't I pretty much the same as I've always been? Neither Heath nor I ever said you were insane, but there are such things as, well, lapses. 
I don't have lapses, Victoria. Your son is dead, killed by the Striders. Now, putting Nick and Heath in jail for the rest of their lives is not going to bring him back. You don't understand. All my life, I tried to uphold the law, and that's what I'm trying to do now. And the fact that you and I have known each other for many years cannot alter that. My son, Jared, is going to be defending his brothers. Now, he'll do that in every way he can, even if it means destroying you. I beg you, Seth, I beg you, drop these charges right now. Otherwise, it will... Otherwise, it will wreck all our lives. I can't do that, Victoria. See, you don't seem to understand. It isn't only your sons who are on trial here. In a way, I am too, because if they're right and I'm wrong, then I'm a crazy old man who's not fit to be a marshal. And if I can't be that, I might as well be dead. There's another witness, Curry. Now, he'll no, testify no, no. that... Jess Curry died of his wounds this morning. I hope you understand how I feel about this case, Jared. I've always had the greatest regard for you and your family, you know that. But I've got to prosecute to the limit. That's my job. And I can tell you, it's not going to be an easy one for you. I know that, Dave. This business about Campbell being unbalanced. I've spent a good amount of time with him the last few days. There's nothing wrong with that man. Him go to pieces in a fight? It's hard to believe. Well, I intend to prove that that's exactly what happened. Oh? Well, then you're ready for court on Friday. As a matter of fact, I've got a favor I want to ask you. Just a minute. You're going to ask me to agree to a postponement. I'm afraid that's impossible. No, no, no postponement. I want you to agree to a pretrial investigation at the site of the alleged crime just to see if it was reasonable to rush that Gatling gun. <laughs> Not so many years ago, Seth Campbell and two soldiers charged up a hill into the face of a platoon manning a battery of cannon. Now, maybe that was unreasonable, but the President of the United States personally pinned a medal on Campbell's chest. And I say it was a different Seth Campbell in a different situation. Different? In whose judgment? Nick's, Eats, you, and you. If you were in a jury, would you accept their word over that of a professional soldier, a professional lawman? Dave, all I'm asking is that we go out there and see for ourselves. There's nothing to see, nothing. Nick and Heath claim that it was suicide to rush that Gatling, but Campbell rushed it, and he not only survived, he killed Floyd Strider. Now, even if he'd failed, they still had no right, legal or moral, to defy his authority, because they had sworn an oath to obey him. And what if he wasn't fit to command? They had no right to make that judgment. Dave, these are my brothers I'm defending. And it was at this point that you gave the order to rush that Gatling while Nick and Heath covered. That's right. Was that when... That's when Heath Barkley tried to prevent my orders from being carried out. But those orders were carried out, weren't they? The man was killed. Oh, I object. I mean, Jared, uh, I think you're forgetting yourself. The marshal isn't on trial here. You'll have a chance to cross-examine in court. No, Mr. Dagler, I think it's high time that this entire thing was straightened out once and for all. All right. Heath, what happened next? That's when the marshal ordered another rush. And you thought that was a mistake? To rush that tower in broad daylight without cover? Yes, I thought it was a mistake. And I did, too, along with Curry. Wait a minute. He can't speak for Curry, Jared. And the rest of this is merely the opinion of your clients. All right, let's get on with it. By all means, Mr. Barkley. It was at that point that your brothers attacked me and took over the posse illegally. You deny that, Heath Barkley? No. I really don't know what you're getting at. As far as I can see, this uh, whole thing merely strengthens the position of the prosecution. Now, I don't mind, but you really feel you want to continue? Yes, I do. Marshal, was your son with you when you came to? Yes, he was. What condition were you in? Well, other than a slight headache, I was fine. And that's when Seth Jr. left you. Yeah, yes, it was. The, uh, the fighting continued. Uh, Seth went for help. What happened then? Uh, well, as I say, the uh, fighting continued. And... Well, it was then that I made a resolve that I was going to get out of it. Matter of fact, I'd been physically forced to stay out of it. I decided to give the Barclays their head. So I... I left. But I was still head of that posse, Mr. Barkley, and I wasn't going to let the Striders get away. 
I don't see any reason to continue this. The main facts have been established. Not quite. Seems to me we still have a question of the Gatling's field of fire. Now, I suggest that we set the conditions up as they actually were when the fighting broke out. Marshal, I've got a man up there in that tower. He's going to fire that gun on my signal. Can you remember where everyone was when you ordered them to rush that gun? Yes, of course. Wilson and Curry, uh, they were behind the wall there, positioned to rush. And, well, the rest of us were all right over here. Are you sure we're safe from the bullets here? Oh, yes, we're safe here. Are you going to tell me that a rational man would send anybody into this field of fire? What's all this nonsense about a field of fire? When you're in a firefight, sir, you don't sit there like a rat in a trap. You attack. And that's when you mounted your horse and jumped the wall. Yes, that's right. That's when I mounted my horse and jumped the wall. And if I hadn't, your two brothers would have been slaughtered. Slaughtered? Heath and Nick were safe from the Gatling gun behind the wall. Safe, were they? Well, one of the Striders had flanked them, and if I hadn't spotted them, they both would have been killed. Nick and Heath were busy with two of the Striders. Floyd was up in the tower with the Gatling. Now, where did you spot another Strider? Right after I'd mounted my horse. Spotted him in the alley down there. I wheeled, and I fired. You wheeled and fired where? There. Saddest things I've ever done, putting him on that train. How was he? Oh, very confused. I, I, I don't think he'll ever get used to the idea that his, his son is gone. I have a great career in like that. Well, you all did the best you could. By the way, we've been invited to the Claytons for dinner tonight. Oh? Oh, say, Nick, that reminds me. What? Sarah Purdy's going to be there tonight. Oh, well, now, that's uh, mighty fine. Uh, just too bad I'm too tired to do much of anything. Oh? Well, well, she probably wouldn't have any time for you anyway. You're just a little bit late. Why? Well, since you missed that last social, she's just about had her pick of admirers. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> You're not talking about the cousin of Jack Purdy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Big green eyes, one of the prettiest girls I've ever seen. Uh, uh, you know, I haven't seen the Claytons for a long time. I think I'll go alone. Too tough. That's too bad about you being tired, Nick. Yeah, we'll be sure and give me your regrets. Pretty green eyes, huh? Oh, beautiful. Heath, where do you think you're going? Well, I'm just going up to take a bath. I'll flip it for the tub. Well, how come? Well, I haven't been to Clayton's in a long time. Call it. Well, I thought you was tired. Tired? I want to get out among them, too. Start dancing. Call it. Well, heads. Sorry, old man, you lost. <laughs> Work like a charm. <laughs> That Mick, he'll never learn. <laughs> 